What's up, everybody? Hope you guys are having a cool day. I'm Biscuit Dog, and we're back in RimWorld. The two people who had plague have died. The plague got extreme, and both of them died. So now we only have three colonists left. Three colonists to run this huge place. It's not great. <laughs> Midnight was the guy who cooked everything for us, and he was pretty good at cooking, and now he's dead. So now we've got to start those skills all over again. Stagecoach is now the cook. He's making kibble because we ran out of kibble again, because nobody wants to visit us, and we can't sell any of our animals. I really, really hope that we get some traders today instead of a raid. <laughs> <laughs> Things have not gone well. So I started growing the plants again because you guys said that blight uh, didn't affect them for more than one crop. So it's useless to stop growing them to stop the blight because the blight's already stopped. So we're growing all these food crops again. Uh, they should be up and running in no time. Grandma Dot's here planting right now. What I think I'm going to do is put Grandma Dot on making flake and get her medical skills up. Let's just take a look at our survivors. Alright, so that's not great. No one's got a talent for doctoring. Not great. But uh, what are you going to do? Grandma Dot can't even doctor at all, so it has to be Orange. Orange is going to have to make this stuff. Kind of sucks. Let's put him at 2 for doctoring. Where is Orange? Orange? Okay, he's mining right now, but we're going to take him off of mining and we're going to make him... We're going to make him craft. We'll put him on two. Yes, and we'll prioritize his making of drugs. Because we really need someone skilled enough to make us medicine. Because we have no medicine whatsoever and we haven't had for ages. It's really, really not good. What I think I'm going to do is administer panoxycycline to all of these people. Just to take their plague risk down a little bit. Because if someone else gets plague, it's not going to be good, man. Three people's going to be tough. <laughs> I'm worried about our future, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like things might all go wrong. Hopefully we get like a trading party. That's all I want. What is this? Do you just har you just harvest straight herbal medicine? That says heal root. Herbal medicine. Look at that. Oh my god, that's good news, you guys. That means we don't need to research to make medicine. This is not the best medicine. In fact, it's the worst medicine, but it's medicine, you guys. It's such good news. Oh, that's great to hear. How are you doing, Orange? Make the drugs. Alright, that's gonna be great. Can we put medicine in here? Storage. Manufactured foods. Medicine and drugs. Good. Alright, that's gonna go there and it shouldn't be a problem. Can you haul, Grandma Dot? She'll never do hauling. This is gonna be a, a rough couple of days with these three. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sucks. Man, we already made 75 kibble and they've eaten it all. This is getting critical. We're gonna have to kill some of these and make kibble out of them. Anybody pregnant? You guys aren't pregnant. Where's the animals tab? Everything's looking pretty good. We've got so many animals though. I really, really would love to sell some of these. Is there any way, does this tell us if it's pregnant or not? What is this? Pregnant, yes! Okay, that's the pregnancy tab, that's great. I didn't know about that. That's wonderful. Guess what? In two days we're gonna have more Yorkies. <laughs> Man, these things are eating us out of house and home. I know I say this every episode, but every episode nobody comes to buy these things. It's terrible, you guys. Oh, at least we've got a turret up. You guys said I should put some sandbags around the turret? The only problem is, I've built it on the shore here, so I can't put sand eggs there, which is not ideal. What is it aiming at? Please don't shoot Grandma Dot. I hope these things don't malfunction. That would be terrible. Ugh. We've also got a broken cooler. Let's sort that out. Quick as we can. Yes, that's a very important job. How are you doing, Orange? Yes, get the drugs. Cool, so we're going to have a bunch of flake pretty soon. And I think we're probably going to sell all of it, because I don't want to get anyone addicted to drugs. Uh, that's not going to be the plan. So I'll forbid all of this for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give all the survivors some panoxycycline to take down their, to take down their plague risk. 
health, operations. Okay, we're already administering panoxycycline there. Orange, yes. State, yes. Okay, they should take it at some point, hopefully. Good. Keep making the drugs. Keep making the drugs. Actually, Orange, come over here and get this. Get that really quickly. We don't leave that in the rain. Herbal medicine, 56 of 60. It's already deteriorating due to the weather. Not great. Who's starving? Not anymore. Eat up, pal. Come on, Orange. Go get our only medicine. Do you belong to us? No, you don't. Don't eat my medicine. Don't eat my medicine. I'm watching you, Ibex. I really hope these things aren't eating my medicine. Oh, it ate my medicine. Ooh, I'm hunting this. That's just not on. <laughs> that is not on. Not on at all. It's eating my medicine and I can't have it. I would have tamed it, but I've got way too many animals and this one's eating all my food. So it's going to die and become food itself. That's how it works. Where's Grandma? Oh, eat your breakfast, Grandma. Hurry up, because it's time to hunt. Actually, Stagecoach? Yeah, you keep making those things. You keep making them, buddy. Grandma? Where is this thing? Let's take care of business. Not assigned to hunting. Are you kidding me? Orange? Hunt this thing. Orange is going to be really, really busy. He seems to have most of the skills around here. <laughs> so. Oh, poor Orange. Life's going to be tough for a few days. Alright, Orange. Time to put a stop to this Ibex. Can we, can we set this? Oh, it's just out of range. Just out of range. I should have thought of that earlier. We probably could have taken care of it with the turret. You'll want to get a little closer, pal. Let's go. Don't catch a cold out here now. Please don't get plague. That would really, really suck. Yes. Yes. Damn it, it avoided the traps. Look, man, these animals have got to learn. Um, I thought he was going to bite us. <laughs> there we go. Oh, don't consume it. Haul it. Alright, that takes care of that little problem. That's pretty cool, actually. We had to get rid of him because he was eating our crops, and now he's become food. Pretty efficient, I'd say. What's in here? Who is this headless person? Midnight? Why are you Why are you not buried? Somebody bury Midnight, please. These can't all be full. They're not full at all. This is very strange, you guys. These guys have got beds and there's nothing wrong with them, but they're sleeping in the hospital beds. I don't know if you guys can tell me what that's about. I guess maybe it's because they have administered panoxycycline. Maybe that's why. All right, Orange, eat some dinner and inject these two fools with panoxycycline. <laughs> Look at all the huskies. We have so many huskies. Puppy huskies. Pepe. <laughs> the names of these dogs are great. Bront, that's a weird dog. Titania. Triumph. And Todd. And Bo. Lots and lots of huskies. All right. Yeah, operate on stagecoach. Give them some panoxycycline. That should help us with any future plague outbreaks. Thanks for all your tips, you guys. I would totally be dead so long ago if it wasn't for you guys telling me what to do. <laughs> Good. What are you doing? Alright, so that's why they were in the hospital beds, because they were waiting for panoxycycline. Uh, first she's getting her smoke leaf joint. Fair enough. So the panoxycycline should take our plague risk down uh, by a factor, which is advantageous. We don't want any more plague, you guys. Ugh. I think I've had people survive plague, but this time they didn't survive at all. Dot, are you going to give him his thing, please? No. Stagecoach, 
Just wake up and let's get this over with. Yes, do that. I know, you just went to bed. It's tragic. This is what happens when there's only three of us. Go get some new recruits and you can relax for a bit. <laughs> Find me new recruits, dammit. Five Panoxy Cycling left. We're probably going to have to make some more at some point. There we go. Everybody's happy. Good times. Let's not forbid that. I don't know why we've got corn here. They'll hold it at some point. Oh, traders, please. Please, traders. I seek trading. Eight kibble left. It's terrible, you guys. Oh, and we can only make one more load before we have to chop up this Ibex dough. It's really, really cool, though, that herbal medicine just comes straight out of the ground. That's really good news. I thought we would have to process it in some way. I thought we'd have to make it over at the drugs table. It looks like we don't, though. So that's really, really good news. We're going to have to make a lot of this stuff. Maybe we should make this field a little bigger. What's growing here? Psychoid. That's for drugs. Hmm. I feel like this heel root field should be bigger. We need way more medicine. It would have helped us so much. The cool thing about the rain is I can see where I've missed roofing, uh, which is pretty cool. I'm going to have to go back and fix some of this stuff up. That's no good. At least they've got a dry spot. We should put some dog beds out here too, but, but honestly, we have so many dogs. I just want someone to come trade with us so we can get rid of some of these damn dogs. Food, we're doing okay. We've got quite a lot of food. Kibble, we always need. So we're going to need some kibble. We're going to need to chop this dough up, actually. Bills, do not suspend it. You, you're going to need this. Not consume Ibex corpse, what are you doing? Let's do it this way. Stagecoach, butcher. All right, that gives us more meat. Grandma Dot, yeah, okay. Farming's back up and running. Things are looking cool. Okay, so really the main priority now is herbal medicine. We're going to have to work on this as much as we can. I think I'm going to start another field, because this probably isn't going to cut it. I need, like, a lot. <laughs> when we have, like, 40 or 50 herbal medicine, I'll start to relax. Because uh, medicine's really, really important, and people are dying out here. So, maybe, maybe I'll suspend work on all of these fields, except for the medicine, right now. Just to get the medicine numbers up and running. I don't know. Looks like she can handle it. She's really, really good at farming. She's done it for a long time. All right, you guys, we've got a lot of boring work to do here right now, like research and production and butchering and kibble making and all kinds of boring stuff. So I think I'm going to do that in between episodes and try and get this place up and running again with just the three of us. What we really need is this medicine. Once we've got some medicine, I'm going to, I'm going to be able to relax a little bit and then start thinking about other plans. But uh, by the next time you see me, we should have a whole load of medicine, hopefully, and possibly have sold some dogs that would be good i think i'm gonna leave it here for today you guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace